There is one big mistake that most Christian believers make, and that is they never become disciples, never become followers of Jesus Christ. Most believers, after they have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, they become religious, they join a church, and they start working for the church. But they do not work their relationship with Jesus. Others believe that they have to abandon everything, quit their job, and go after Jesus. But they do not know Jesus yet. They do not know His ways. They do not know His voice. They have not been taught how to follow Him. The disciples that Jesus first called went after him. They did not go out preaching and trying to win the world. They followed Jesus, and he taught them his ways. And it was only after he had qualified them that he sent them out. We are called to follow Jesus. Jesus said, follow me. We have to work our relationship with Jesus. Firstly, we have to obey His commands, repent, and be baptized in water. Live our lives the way that Jesus commanded. Live according to His words. Live holy and righteous. Seek Him with all our heart, and He will reveal Himself to us. He will teach us, and He will guide us. He promised to give the Holy Spirit in those who seek Him those who truly love Him. And the Holy Spirit will teach and guide them in all things. Most believers never follow Jesus. Very few believers obey Jesus. Very few repent of their sin, repent of their own futile ways, repent of thinking the worldly way and living according to the words of Jesus. Very few get baptized in water as he commanded. And even fewer receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Of those who receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit, very few follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. They start running after people. They become part of a group, a church, an organization. Or they follow after some person that they regard as spiritual, but they're not following Jesus Christ. They all make the same mistake. They do not go after Jesus. They do not work their relationship with Jesus. They do not get to know His voice, and they do not follow Him. Others are serious. They start seeking Jesus in prayer and in fasting. They receive dreams and revelations and then they jump to conclusions. Often they run after their revelations or revelations that they have heard from others and they are disillusioned. Their life falls to pieces and they blame God. But they did not stay with Jesus. We have to go after Jesus, seek Him with all our heart, clean up our life, Live according to His words. Live holy, righteous. Seek His approval. Seek to hear His voice. We are not called to change the world and convert the world. We are called to be witnesses of Jesus. We can only be a witness of Jesus if we know Him. If our life testifies of Jesus that the world can see, that we are changed. We have not just taken on religion, but we have become like Jesus. We can only testify for Jesus if we have a real relationship with Him. Anybody can go to a Bible school, become indoctrinated, and then start preaching, start his own church, start his own organization. That is the way of the world, the way of the worldly church, that is not the way of Jesus Christ. It is not about proselyting and building churches. 
The gospel of Jesus Christ is about being disciples and making disciples of Jesus Christ. Walking with Jesus every day in your situation where he has called you. Getting to know his voice and then if we cleanse ourselves of unrighteousness and we make ourselves available for Jesus in his time, he will use us. He might send us. He might tell us to go somewhere. He might tell us to go to a different country or to a different city. But we have to follow him. We have to be sure that we heard from Jesus. We must not look for human sponsors or an organization or an infrastructure. Our walk must be with Jesus Christ. If that walk with Jesus is not real, then we are only fooling ourselves. Some people abandon everything. They abandon their responsibilities, their wife, their children, their debts. That is not what Jesus called us for. We have to take care of our responsibilities. We cannot just irresponsibly leave everything. That is not of the Lord. He calls us to live righteously in this world. To live according to His words. To be led by His Spirit. Always go back to Jesus. Always ask Jesus. Keep on praying, keep on seeking Him, keep on trusting Him, keep on expecting Him. If you're not sure, go back to Jesus. Our duty is to bring glory to Jesus and to be pleasing to Him. We can only be pleasing to Jesus if we receive feedback, confirmation from Him, if we hear His voice. He sheep listen to his voice and they follow him. They're not trying to win the world. They're not trying to preach to everybody. They just want to be pleasing to the master. And the only way to do that is to be led by the Holy Spirit, to walk with Jesus day by day. Most believers never come into that close relationship with Jesus. They get drawn away by other things. And in the end, they will stand before Jesus and he will say to them, Go away. I never knew you. Many will say, Lord, but I built churches for you. And I preached the gospel. And I did so many things. And he will say, but you were never with me. You maybe did things that you thought were for me. But you did not follow me. Do we know Jesus? How is our relationship with him? Are we just being religious? Or are we following after other people? Following after our own mind? We can only please Jesus if we are led by the Holy Spirit. Day by day. Moment by moment. It is all about following Jesus Christ. Are we following Jesus Christ? Do we know his voice? Do we listen to him? Are we doing what is pleasing to him? And are we receiving confirmation from him that we are in his will? Do we have a real relationship with the living God, Jesus Christ? May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know him and follow him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.